bitches on me bust. I'm ballin' no discussion. I tell her shorty bust. I tell her shorty bust. I fuck her, I don't trust. New chopper in this rush. We diamonds on me bust. Dimson with Gobert, three, good! He is putting together a master! Back to Minnesota. Number one, the big Frenchman is sitting on that podium, speaking his native language. We, we, we need to do this. You, you, you need to get a stop. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. They smell like shit. <laughs> Somebody smell like shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Somebody smell like shit. <laughs> That's y'all defensive player of the year. Him. That's y'all four time defensive player of the year. Um, Nico Jokic dropped. 40 points, 13 assists, 7 rebounds, 0 turnovers. Versus y'all, defense player of the year. In a W, a blowout win versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. To go up 3-2 in the series. And looking to go back to Minnesota, looking to close things out. But in this video, we're not going to talk about the teams what. what Who's going to force the game seven? If they going, if Denver's going to close it up, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to be strictly talking about why. This is the honest truth, or why nobody, and I mean nobody, can stop Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Who's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. Y'all enjoy these NBA content. Y'all enjoy the NBA playoffs. Y'all enjoy the M NBA podcast conspiracy theories and stuff like that give your boy a like subscribe channel if you're new drop me every week monday tuesday and wednesday to be exact and i appreciate all the support all right i'm gonna break everything down not just in the last game last night's game but in general for nico Jokic, why nobody can stop it okay first of all the footwork you see all you see these big men trying to size up Jokic. You really can't really size up Jokic because Jokic sizes up every other big man in the league. So he uses his strength to his advantage. But when he's in the paint and when he's posting up these big man defenders, he uses his footwork. He uses the pump face. His IQ narrow all the other big man out. His IQ is the reason why he's better than everybody else in the league. His IQ is why you can make an argument he's top five of all time as a big man. Because when he's in the paint, obviously the footwork is amazing. The footwork as a big man, the only person I can compare for as footwork as one of all type big men is Hakeem Olajuwon. Now, Shaq had great footwork, okay? But this is a different type of footwork, in my opinion. This footwork is when he, he uses his pump face to his ability. He uses the hook shots to his ability. You can compare that to Kareem. He uses his advantage to really find open shooters around the corners. Any anybody's open every time he gets double team in the paint. And he uses his advantage to draw a foul to get to the free throw line. So let's for instance. Catch the ball. I'm, I'm gonna stand up for this. Catch the ball. Dribbles. Left, left side, right side. Head fake. Switch, other hand, layup. Every time. Oh, let's do another example. Post up. Oh, I'm double team. Oh, pass it to the corner. Every time. Now, this is another advantage for Jokic. He's a point center. He's not a typical center in the league. He's a point center. We know what LeBron bring to the table. He was a point four. Okay? Jokic is a point center. He's bringing the ball up court most of the time. Not Jamal Murray. Sometimes Jamal Murray brings the ball up court when it's time to close. But during the game, especially last night, it was Jokic bringing the ball up court. And so that's in the disadvantage for the Minnesota Timberwolves because you know Gobert is not going to guard Jokic all the way past half court. Come on now. He's not. 
Gobert is not fast at all. So is Jokic. Both of them are not fast. Okay. Jokic has amazing ball handling skills for being a big man. That's another advantage as wide no back and guard. Compared to all these other big men that was all that's all timers, Jokic, in my opinion, has the best handles. You could add a Shaq, add a Kareem, add a Hakeem Olajuwon, out of Witch Chamberlain. He has the best ball handling skills. They're not crazy, but for him to be a point center, I think they're pretty good. Again, his IQ, knowing, okay, double team is coming. They're going to try to double team me. Jamal Murray might be open. Oh, Yoki said, no, cut to the basket. He's using these signals to make him cut to the basket and find other overshooters like MPJ open, like KCP open. That's why he's making some early on, early three point shots early in the game. And that's why he was getting Christian Brown in the game. That's why Aaron Gordon's been so effective in the series because they thinking, okay, Jokic, let's see if we can stop him and try to eliminate the perimeter. Well, it's hard to do it when Jokic sees Aaron Gordon cutting to the basket every time for some easy basket in the paint. So this is why Rudy Gobert is getting frustrated because Rudy Gobert four-time defensive player of the year. Well, I always thought he was overrated. Um, Jokic is bullying him. Jokic is babying him. Jokic is cooking him. Every time he gets out on the floor, Jokic is cooking. Frying, deep fry. Fried fish. You can get some, 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 it can be some beef. No salt, no barbecue, nothing on there. No seasoning, nothing. Just straight beef. He's cooking him. Posting up. Pump, pump fake, head fake. Oh, I got the, I got the hook shot. Oh, easy bucket. Oh, let's get down court. I'm going right at you. Oh, head fake, pump fake, easy layup. Oh, let me go at you again. Oh, they double team me. Oh, kick to the corner. Oh, somebody's cutting. They double team me again. Oh, Eric Gordon for easy dunk. Oh, I got the rebound. Jokic slings that thing like he Tom Brady. There's no weakness of the Jokic game. Y'all can point out what what's the weakness? Point that out, point out to me. What is the weakness to Yo Nikola Jokic's game? He's a point center, so he can pass. He had 13 assists, no turnovers. One of the best rebounds in the league. Probably is the best. His ability to use his footwork to disadvantage. His ability to use his size to an advantage. His ability to make three-point shots and step back when he wants to and drain that thing from three. Oh, I can continue. Oh, 